Since 2018, Britain has been one of the most unequal countries in Europe, with record numbers of children living in poverty and temporary accommodation, while those in the top 1% enjoy incomes sometimes a dozen, sometimes a dozen dozen times greater. But what about the children living between the extremes? This book constructs seven perfect average children from millions of statistics, each symbolizing the very middle of a parental income bracket. How do their lives compare? Monday's child lives in a flat with her mum and can't afford a holiday, friends, clubs or new things, but loves to draw with her felt-tip pens. Like all seven children, she is well-fed, clothed and warm. Tuesday's child lives in a rented apartment, loves his annual caravan holiday and riding his brother's bike. He doesn't have parties, school trips or clubs and doesn't understand why sometimes his mum isn't hungry. Wednesday's child lives in a rented maisonette with working parents. She goes on holiday, has birthday parties, after school clubs and friends visiting. Her mum wants to decorate but is afraid of the landlord. Thursday's child lives in a house with his parents who work all hours to pay the mortgage. His sister gets free school meals but goes hungry and they've never been on holiday. Friday's child lives in a council property and is better off than most. She has a bike, birthday parties, an annual holiday and even a kitten. Her parents both work but worry about her future. Saturday's child lives in a house with parents who pay the mortgage. They can afford most things, even enough for evenings out, but they don't have enough rooms for their growing family. Sunday's child is better off than 93% of all UK children. She lives in a flat above her parents' shop, but has never been on holiday. They can't afford private school, but her mum doesn't think she'd fit in anyway. It is quite possible that, like their parents, this generation of children will be worse off when they grow up. If this trend continues, will everyone, apart from Britain's 1%, be in a race to the bottom? <laughs>